Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. This is going to be a product review on this Greenworks 40 volt cordless chainsaw. It has a 12 inch bar. I got a tree back here we've been working on and uh, I'm going to trim off the small limbs off of here and then I have a DeWalt 20 volt 12 inch and I also have a Makita saw that's totally different class and just for the fun of it we're going to have a head-to-head -head competition on this bigger log to uh, see how long it takes each one to, to cut through. So let's get started. Okay, before we start cutting, we need to uh, put bar oil in here. So one thing noticeable about this is you got an itty bitty little hole and it's tucked in here. So, and uh, I buy bar oil in the one gallon cans, so this might, this might be interesting here. Doesn't look like it holds much either. Yeah. Should have brought a funnel. Yeah, it doesn't hold much at all. So that's okay, we spilt a little down the side. No big deal. So I can see the oil spreading out here on the bar. Let's get to cutting. Okay, I have the uh, two amp hour battery in here, 40 volt, two amp hours. And I have a four amp hour battery that I'm gonna use for the head to head competition. So I'm gonna use this two amp hour battery to clean out all these little limbs and get this area cleaned up. Okay, my first impressions of this saw are I was afraid I wouldn't like the ergonomics because this is taller, but that doesn't bother me at all. I like the uh, the bar handle comes around here nice, so, you, so this being up high isn't an issue because the handle comes down quite a ways. I uh, like the uh, DeWalt saw. I feel a lot of vibration, but I think that's because I'm used to a saw that's uh, gas-powered with the isolation built into it, so you don't feel all that. Uh, like the DeWalt, the chain speed is, is not very fast. In fact, I think the DeWalt chain speed 20 volt might be faster than this 40 volt, but we'll check that out later. But uh, cutting this small stuff, it does okay. It bounces around a lot. I want to saw off one of these logs right here so you can see how it goes through that.
Okay, it went through it pretty good. Uh, it struggles a little because honestly it's underpowered. Uh, to do something like this I think is probably asking a bit much for this little saw. But uh, if the chain's not sharp, you would you would really struggle with this. And with a gas saw, when your chain gets a little dull, you just keep bump the RPMs up a little and put a little more pressure on it. Uh, with this saw, uh, you can't get the RPMs up because they are what they are. And if you put more pressure, you're just uh, slowing the motor down and it's not helping any. So it's kind of got a sweet spot RPM that it cuts at. And uh, you, you don't want to push it any beyond that. So uh, that's it for this part of the review.